Now it's time to break it. Welcome back, my friends, to the Split Screeners Podcast. I am joined, as always, by my great friends, Aaron, Yo. Nick, and that guy over there. Yeah! That, that guy and this guy are real good friends. <laughs> Before we get too far, remember to His like, Zach. comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification to stay up to date on all the banners we're dropping. What are we talking about in this episode? Today? This episode is movies. <gasps> But we're not talking about those. We're going to go over some trailers, a little bit of news, what we've been watching, and <coughs> get into the holiday spirit a little bit. Christmas? No, fuck that. That's the holiday uh, spirit I'm in. Thanksgiving. <laughs> I've been Thanksgiving there. comes first. Nope. I've been watching Elf every day since, <laughs> uh, since, uh, since November Since November 1st, 1st. yep. Yeah. I've just been watching the Santa Claus 3. <laughs> nice, nice. Did you finish the first two? Do you no, eat yourself? Yeah, <laughs> just waiting for the Santa Claus. Santa Claus. All right, Zach, take us away. Speaking of Santa Clauses, we have a trailer for Disney Plus's The That's Santa a Claus fucking segue, bro. Series. Um, Looks we awful. don't have to watch that. It, it was awful. Tim Allen. Tim Allen. What can, happened? We can leave the link in the bio down below. He's um, doing cocaine. It is. It is funny because we were we were kind of talking about when we watched the trailer. It really does look like they took all three movies and they just combined it into a TV show. Not Kids, that I've actually watched the two sequels, but it does seem like plot points that I've seen other YouTube videos talk about. So, Kids Losing Faith in Santa, that was the whole plot of the first movie. The second movie was... Jack Frost. No, that's, that's a third. third that's a third. The so worst. I think there was a, one of the movies had like a it's robot Santa. It looks like really classic. Santa Claus. All through the house. Right. Not a creature. Yeah. yeah. So, they might not so the third one had the robot Santa yeah. when he was yeah. trying to take a break or something. And he's evil. Yeah. Which is Which exactly is like what this show is doing. Yeah. Yeah, very skippable. Uh, I will watch the whole thing because I, I love to know. I, I feel like it's going to be too. very hard for me to sit week to week and watch. Yes, I don't see it. If it was a movie, I'll watch the first episode to say. Two episodes, It's coming out with the first two episodes, November 3rd. 60. I'll watch the first episode. They're going to ruin my birthday week like that. Or they're going to make it so much better. Better than the first movie? Keep it on the Christmas theme. Maybe. <laughs> on the Christmas theme. Hell yeah, we're on the right theme here. Yeah. Uh, we got a trailer for Violet Night, which is a Santa Claus action <coughs> film starring Hopper. Uh, David Harbour. You said Hopper, and I just like merged in my head. I was trying not to say David Hopper. Yes. David um, Hopper. This movie looks badass. It looks like it's from the producers of both Nobody and Bullet Train, which are yeah. movies that I know I love. I love them. You love them. Uh, no. Actually, pretty excited for this one. Uh, more Christmas. More Christmas. <laughs> yeah, yeah! More Christmas. Christmas! 40 years later, we're getting a sequel to A Christmas Story called A Christmas Story Christmas. Dear old man. Fragile. You'll shoot out your eye, kid. You'll shoot your eye. Fragile. Fragile. Um, yeah, it looks like they make a lot of jokes to the original. Uh, the problem with doing a sequel to The Christmas Story is that The Christmas Story isn't a great movie to begin with. Um, what? I don't. I don't mind it. I watch Christmas Story every year on my holiday rotation. You but know, as far as Christmas would be, it's not a top ten Christmas. Movie. It's not as, jingle all the way. As far yeah, as sure. holiday movies go, this is the only one I quote weekly. And usually, you're gonna shoot your eye out. You'll shoot your eye. Out. Okay. And I feel like I'm usually talking to one of my coworkers or employees. And like, oh. 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 Um. And without the dad. I feel like yeah, they're, they're like, they should have done this maybe 20 years ago. Yeah. They're dealing with the dad's like passing or something. And it's Is there an actor passing? Away? <coughs> I was wondering. I'm not sure. I don't know. Probably. Uh, uh, G. G must be a Um, uh, one more Christmas movie starring Ryan yeah. Reynolds and Will Ferrell. Will Ferrell, Spirited, I guess it's called. Yeah. Apple Plus uh, movie. Apple. Apple. 
You don't have to get into the stream. They, 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 they already done that. Yeah. Technically, they technically, should... technically speaking, Apple was one of the first to foray into it. Yeah, way before Netflix. Uh, it's just always been really fucking expensive. Like a Christmas and barely worth it. Um, this is the next take on Christmas Carol. Christmas Carol. We need a Scrooge. 900th movie. Yeah. This year. Watching the trailer, like I said, while we watched the trailer, it feels like Ryan Reynolds has already, already done this movie with uh, Ghost of Girlfriend's Pass, I think it was. I'm your ghost of Christmas. Uh, where his girlfriend's a ghost pass. Yeah, something like that. No, I think you're right. <coughs> um, There's no way to know. Yeah, this stuff. This doesn't look good. No. Uh, no. I'll watch it just because it has Ryan Reynolds and Will Ferrell in it. The, the only one of these Christmas movies that looked good was, was Santa, Claus. Santa, Santa, yeah. Santa Claus. Yes. No, that, that, that's number <laughs> one, baby. And I'm hey. done. <laughs> I'm the four that Zach I'm just announced. That's the one I'm most excited for. <laughs> I'm, hoping, I'm hoping you meant Violet Night. I, I did. Yeah. I'm down to see some Hopper killing some criminals. Again. You were going for Santa Claus's? Yeah. Tim, Tim Allen. Allen, bro. Not his best work, but... Silent Night over here, what are you going for? It's for you to shut up. Uh, the Santa Claus is one of his best works. Oh, I, I love the first oh, yeah. Santa Claus. That, that is a the regular location. Suck. To me, there it's, are no sequels. It's not a. It's not better than Home Improvement. No. But it's a close second. It's one of his best pieces of work. So Santa Claus... Oh, all right. Violet Night. Violet Night. Violent. Oh, violent? Not violent. Yeah, you know, because he's stand up doing candy canes. I can be brown, I can be blue, I can be violent. <laughs> Sorry, I, be I saw a video of Will Ferrell and Ryan Reynolds singing that song. Right. So every time they see me, that's all I can think about. Um, oh, Ooh, Wild Hogs, they fucking Wild Hogs. <laughs> Tim Allen. Tim Allen. Galaxy yeah. Quest, come on. Oh, that's a classic. That is a great movie. Christmas with the, the Christmas the Cranks is so criminally underrated. Yeah, it's a that's movie. a great Christmas movie. <gasps> Jungle the Jungle. Bangers. Yeah. <laughs> As we, you were saying, Zach. And his best, <laughs> his best work is coming out this November. Santa Claus is. <laughs> All right. There's Sorry. no such thing. Just I, I, I'm, taking, I'm gonna take the stand you take with Crystal Skull on the, all the sequels to the Santa Claus. The second one isn't horrible. The second Santa Claus movie, I like. I'll watch it. The third one is atrocious. Unwatchable. Yeah. Second one's got a few good points, yeah. but still not as good. All right. And for our final trailer, we're going <coughs> to veer, veer away from the Christmas theme a little bit. This is what I think. <laughs> we finally got a full trailer for Avatar 2, The Book of Water. Okay. One so the la two. last good movie he made was 30, 30 years ago? All right. He made some bangers in the 80s and early 90s. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, then he made Titanic, and yeah. it was all downhill from there. Yeah. I will reserve judgment until I see the movie. That's not fun. <laughs> Give your judgment. Judge! No. This looks like an atrocious piece of shit. The first movie, storytelling-wise, is fucking garbage. The only good thing the first movie had going for it was that it was, hey. for 2008, cinematically beautiful. If you want to see a good story version of it, go watch Fern Gully. Gladly. It's Wait. a much better version. Great. Well, I'd rather watch this one. Uh, and this what looks, you got against Fern Gully? This looks like a more. This looks like it's gonna be more boring than the first one, which is fucking bonkers to me because the first one so will put me to sleep if I ever go, if I ever watch that movie. I don't know. I, I hope we get to see him sexually dominate a whale with his <laughs> tail penis like he did to the dragon. I, 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 uh, he, 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 <laughs> that's what he did. Look, I, I guess I guess that means that. The, act that the Ovatars are similar to uh, Avatars. Sorry, the Avatars. Ongatars. Sorry, the Ongatars. Oh, sorry, the Ongatars. Uh, they're very similar to uh, the Smurfs. You're right. No, just taller. The Navi. Oh, no, that's actually the Swamp thing. thing. <laughs> Swamp thing. You take you take a little bud and you break it open and stick it in your eaters. <laughs> Uh, for my, for I can't wait to go and see this with you guys. It's gonna I be got a riot. Seen this with you guys. Oh yeah, yeah you, you probably, probably should. 
Next we'll, time I will see it together. Oh, 100%. We'll just follow him around. We'll just wait yeah, until we yeah, figure yeah. it out. And we'll what, just, like, show up. What was that movie where we were all in the theater and you, like, went and sat, like, three years Justice years League. Justice League. Oh, okay. He did not sit anywhere near us for Justice League, and he missed out on some yeah, fucking gold bags. That movie. No, I was in the same row. I just had, like, four seats. <laughs> Where the fuck is Batman? Uh, yeah, oh, my I God, he did run. run. He has to run. <laughs> We, it killed kill. us. It murdered us so bad. There can't be. There can't be that many people who are excited for this movie. Like, like it, it's physically impossible. But for, for me, the reason I, I feel like I'm not super excited <coughs> for this is because it's been 13 years since yeah. the other one came out. I mean, like the other one's decent by whatever standards, but what standards? My standards. <laughs> In what? Standards? In my opinion, I, I do enjoy watching that oh, movie. God. It's not like on a regular rotation where I watch it like multiple times a year, like not even like just every once a year. year. That story that's so bad, bro. It makes Unobtainium. No sense. Yeah. I do love that one. <laughs> Placeholder names they forgot to take out of the script. Alright, so moving on before we James Cameron. Does what James, James Cameron, Cameron does. does. Not for, for James Cameron. Cameron. Alright, continue. Move on. A little bit of news. Uh, today, or yesterday now, as of recording this, HBO has officially canceled Westworld uh, before going into season five, which would have been, no! been the final season. The penultimate season! I know. I've been really into this show. Westworld uh, kicks ass! It does. I don't know if you've seen any of the later seasons where they go out. He's never like, seen the first episode. <laughs> I've seen I've seen episodes. I I have not seen probably past anything past season two though. Season but I did enjoy it. Season one and two are amazing. Three was a little hard to follow. And four was insane, but it was kind of built up to this point where it was like almost a restart to humankind if they were to continue the storyline, um, a potential restart. But I had continued to con um, enjoy this series and how like thought-provoking it had been uh, but apparently HBO has made the decision not to continue it on and that's very sad and I'm, I'm very sad uh, does HBO do Vikings? no yeah that's Netflix that was that was the History Channel of now Netflix <coughs> Vikings kicked ass that was a great show too yeah. Yeah. it's like Spartacus that was a good show too. Oh, they, in Rome, before they recast Smallville, Rome was, Rome was great. great. I, I remember borrowing both seasons from you. Oh yeah, I'm just naming Back shows. Back when I had them. Oh, fucking Chuck. No, that's that was terrible. Chuck is so fucking. Good. <laughs> Chuck deserved better. I need a Chuck movie. Netflix, please pick up the last season of Westworld. Do please. It. And make a Chuck movie. Make two Zach, Zach really by deserves it. He has two movies now. Yeah, he deserves a good movie. Those don't. You, not, you love not to done by Warner. <coughs> All right, moving on to my second piece. Uh, yesterday, uh, November third was the 68th anniversary of Godzilla coming out in theaters in um, Japan. With from that day to current, we have 36 Godzilla movies, including the three really shitty movies on Netflix. 33 live action Godzilla. Yes, 33 live action Godzilla movies. Um, that's three from Legendary Studios. We got the one from TriStar, which was the 98 Godzilla. The best and, one. Uh, Second and then, what, 28 more from Toho? <coughs> um, as part of the celebration, they announced that a year from that date, so the 69th anniversary of Godzilla. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Uh, they will be releasing the next Toho. Uh, produced Godzilla movie uh, with the director Takashi Yamazaki. Uh, I do not know any of the movies he has not done. Not Takashi Mike. But, um. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> this is brought me back to an old episode. Uh, call me. Uh, yeah, the last two episodes were so easy to film with you guys. Then we get to this one. Mike. You uh, started out with Santa Claus as an avatar, that ruined it for us. I didn't um, want to do that. <laughs> I love Takashi Mike. Takashi Wait, Mike. who is it? Takashi what? Mike. No, yours. It wasn't Taka uh, Takashi Yamazaki. Yamazaki. <laughs> like, wasn't it Takashi? Oh, wait, yeah. It was. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I forgot. Uh, 
If this releases in the U.S. on the same day, it'll be competing directly with Dune Part Two, <gasps> which I doubt that they're gonna do. I mean, like I think it was Shin Godzilla. Which if they the... do, which are you saying first? Godzilla. Godzilla. But I will be doing a double feature that day. Oh, I figured. <laughs> but I feel like I remember when Shin Godzilla came out. Um, they did a release in the U.S. months after the J- Japanese release, so I feel like it's going to be the same for that. Um, this will also... Shit, he directed an episode of Jungle King to Chan. Takashi Mike. Takashi, Takashi Yamazaki. Is that what you say? I didn't mean to sound so angry. <laughs> I don't know. It's Yamazaki! Also, God damn it! He also directed Parasite Part 1 in 2014 and Parasite Part 2 in 2015. The live action what or the anime? Takashi Mike? Live action. Oh, gross. Uh, Takashi Mike. <laughs> God, let's look up that film. Um, oh shit! He's so this movie, actual film director. Yes. Yeah. What do you think we're talking about? <laughs> it's just pronounced Mike. <laughs> yeah. Bro, I thought you literally just made that. No. No, no. He just mispronounced it. Yeah. It's, it's, I just like, I hold it back. Takashi Mike. I love, watch a lot of his films. It's oh, was this dude the top ten live action? He anime? makes horror movies. Okay. I think so. Oh, he made Thirteen Assassins. Yeah. Four. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Segue over until the next sentence you say. <laughs> then I'm going to segue somewhere else. Perfect. <laughs> just do it. Just put me on my resume. <laughs> That's a great segue. <laughs> this is what makes the movie episodes one of the best episodes we do ever. I hate these episodes. <laughs> I love them. These, the, the, this is probably, my favorite. Yeah, this is probably my favorite episode we record ever. <laughs> Zach might not appreciate us, but I love them. Yeah. All right. And that's why we it get It gets the, the most conversation. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> So that's the director, the T- Takashi Yamazaki. <laughs> Let's go, Godzilla! That movie, Godzilla! that movie will be coming out 2023. Godzilla. We are still getting movies from Legendary as well, but that will be 2024, yeah, which will be yeah. the follow-up to Godzilla vs. Kong, which was the most clear, critically acclaimed movie of the franchise so Why far. Why are they following up Godzilla 98? They did. Matthew Broderick. They had like a two-season Sing animated series for it. No, no, I want to... Live action, bring back the worm guy. You know, you were you were alive as an adult at that point. Why didn't you go see the movie more in theaters and spend more money to see it? Because that's why it didn't happen. Zach, I saw that 17 times. In why not 18? He it's did. Broke. Yeah, uh, as somebody who hasn't seen the majority of Godzilla movies, that's the best <coughs> movie out there. I usually go for Godzilla versus Destroyeth. Son of Godzilla. Number Gross. One. So good. <laughs> uh, we should uh, watch that, Zach. Just you and I. No, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to start being Godzilla. Seen Son of Godzilla? I have gone through as much as I could. I didn't think so. <laughs> I'm just going to start throwing Godzilla movies in the movie, movie, bookie, bookie. I'm down. Do it. I'd like, I'm I'm love Godzilla. I'd like gonna, to watch some Godzilla I'm movies. I'm not going to do like every one of my picks. That would take a while. That would. That 33 different times. Just saying. 33 but months. Let's do 28. But there's four of us, so I have to wait for every four turns. So 28 th- weeks. 28 turns, so 28 months. Yep. I'm still going to do math. <coughs> well, it's roughly two and a half years. I forgot I to did. say this. Well, Zach's doing the math. I, I forgot to say up. this in the movie, movie, bookie, bookie episode. Uh, because I, I want to start throwing this out to viewers. If you have requests for us for movie, movie, bookie, bookie, please throw it in the comments. Do it. We'll watch it. We will. We will. It we will be, skip it can be, Evil Dead and watch it. It can be the comments. shittiest movie you've ever watched in your life. We'll watch it. We're not watching cats again. Put cats in the comments, please. Please, please. please put Jerry. Cats. I'm looking at you. Cats. Jerry, I I will put you in a crowded room full of people. If it gets commented, we have to watch it. Yeah, yeah. If it's in yeah. the comments, we have to yeah. watch it. I I will find your nightmare and I make you live it. <laughs> Uh, you, you, you can't make you can't Tori make Jerry was, live his night. Tori's probably he's already up. doing. Yeah, Tori's probably out. Like, you you, you, you know what he's gonna say if you tell him I'll make you live your nightmare? He's like, what for? I'm already living it. It's the exact fucking words I know. Probably. Um, <coughs> yeah, um, she's either sleeping or she's pissed right now. <laughs> Isakar. Isakar. All right, that's what I have for news. What I want to know is brilliant. What have you guys been watching this week? Ooh, 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 ooh. Um, we talked about it uh, the last time we recorded, but we lost those episodes. Uh, I wanted to bring up Captain Curiosities again. Uh, 
Guillermo del Toro, I don't know what role he played. I think he was more of a producer because every episode is directed by a different director, so it's not him directing the episodes. He's, I think the beginning of the episode say that he's doing, he did the like screenplay. Um, he's basically the showrunner of the series. <coughs> um, but Netflix, they're short, they're an hour each. Um, everyone's a different director. Everyone's just a little short story made into an episode. I thought it was super cool. Yeah, they look really um, good. I really, I really enjoyed it. I think I have two episodes left, but the rat one is still my favorite. My favorite one was the one with Rupert Grant, and I can't remember the name of it, unfortunately. I also love the one uh, about the dude buying the storage units. Yeah. That one was cool. Um, the other thing, Zach has talked about this. Uh, finally, I'm starting to catch up on uh, House of the Dragon. Uh, well, I do Without th- using the C word like we were the last time we were talking about it. Well, I do think it is good. Uh, I think that it potentially... I maybe the last final five episodes is where it like really really gets going, but through the first half, um, I've been underwhelmed, and I don't know if that was just because I, my expectations when I went in were too high. Somebody talked it up. Somebody somebody told me that it was better or as good as the original you Game know, of Thrones. That's what told me about Lord of the Rings. Uh, the first that's five episodes. <laughs> the first five episodes, while great, um, there isn't there isn't the amount. I don't love the same amount of characters. Yeah. Um, that I loved in the original show, and the first five episodes kind of dull and slower paced for me. But I do think that from what I've heard, the last five <coughs> really picks up. The last couple episodes were fantastic. So I think part of that, at least with that first point you made with like not loving as many characters is instead of like with the regular like original Game of Thrones where you had like four storylines yeah. going on, you have one. Yeah, it's very like narrowly focused on this. Um, we're narrow becoming the heir. Um, and Renera's father, dope. Did you get to the time skip? I've gotten to a couple. To the big one? I know, yeah, so. I think he's right there. You said you're like five episodes in? I'm exactly halfway through. So yeah, I think this is your next episode should be 20 years skip. later. Renera's dope. Yeah. Renera's awesome. Um, outside of that, I, I have not grown to really like, like any anybody. of the other characters. Do you like Christian Cole yet? Christian Cole. The night she picks him the... Uh, yeah, he's cool. Fuck him. <laughs> Will I end up hating him at the end? Fuck that C word. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's not bad, and I I definitely am enjoying it. But yeah, I think my expectations might have just been a wee bit high for the first five episodes. Yeah. The dragons are sick. It's they are sick though. Yeah, yeah, at least they're uh, in it this time. Yeah. I think it's Caraxes, the red one with the long neck. He's my favorite. Um, Damon's dragon. Um, Vagar, Vagar when he comes he's, in, he's, he's so he's. He's such a difficult character for me. There's parts of me that like wants to like him, and then there's parts of me that like, you, you son of a fucking asshole. Wait till episode eight. I'm excited. I will. Fin- I, I can I will finish that this week for sure. I kind of gave him the roller coaster um, game play of um, Damon, where like you really hate this character, and then like. Near the end, you're like, oh, I kind of, I'm, I'm liking him. I'm like, he's growing on. Then you really and I, hate him. <laughs> <laughs> um, it is cool every time, every time they bring up something from Game of Thrones, like they'll bring up a name. Like they, to, they talked about the, like the Baratheons and stuff. You're like, oh, I know those guys. Or the Cast Claw Dagger. The Red Keep. Oh, that was from the show. Yeah. Oh, that's it's just cool to hear again. <laughs> Didn't know if I'd ever get Game of Thrones stuff again. It, oh, you it never does. Were. But what I really like about the series know, is like how it, the last season ended. It feels like Game of Thrones. Like you're right back in that world. The sets yeah. are almost exactly the same. Yeah. And only four Starbucks cups in the first five episodes. So. Hey, that's <laughs> they're cutting down. Yeah, it's a good job. Uh, anything else? Um, Halloween night, we watched Interview with the Vampire. Oh, yeah. it was a long yeah. time since I'd watched Interview with the Vampire. I forgot how much I loved that movie. It's a great movie. It's it's the best Tom Cruise movie. Debatable, but it's a great movie. Highly debatable. Highly debatable. <coughs> I, mean, Which I did. I watch. also am not a Tom Cruise fan, but uh, you haven't seen Top Gun too. I haven't. Is Which, it really that good? Uh, it is it's probably my, right now. It's probably Let's my favorite. Let's go watch it. It might be my favorite Tom Cruise movie off the top of my head. It is so much better than the first one. Oh yeah, so much like the first one's a pretty decent movie. Like I like that one, but. Plus, Last Samurai kicks ass. I love that movie. Thank you. I'm trying I to feel vindicated. I'm trying to thank you. Why? Look, I, there, 
recently, <laughs> there have oh, just it's a Tom Cruise movie. Yes. Uh, Oblivion. <laughs> um, what was the other one that you and Ricky used to talk about all the time? Oh, Jack Reacher. Yeah. <laughs> Jack the Reacher. Um, so he's just put out some shitty movies. Back in the 90s, Tom Cruise was Risky was, Business. Risky Business. I think that was his worst era. What, the 90s? The 90s. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah, Top Gun 2 is sick. I, I would recommend Top Gun. Business. Top Gun 2 right. might make my top 10 movies this year. Might. 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 It's right there on the edge. It's on the cusp. <clears throat> Um, Anybody else watch anything this week? I did. I was waiting for. You can go, Aaron. I want to go if you want. I just gotta watch TV shows well, and shit. I finished watching all my Halloween stuff, but Interview with the Vampire started that show. The reboot, and uh, not a fan. That's the one on AMC Plus. AMC Plus, yeah. Uh, they changed everything. Mm. Everything is. Is it fuck pretty hard? Yeah. Are they vampires? No. I I think they are. Well, then they need to change everything, <laughs> damn it. Um, they're not even real vampires. They're just they're they sparkle neat. the sunlight. You have to watch the original movie again. I'm telling you. Oh, I watched it a few weeks ago. The It is so uncanny how much Tom Cruise looks like Ben it Still, there. It's insane. Yeah, to I can me. see it in a few scenes. <laughs> it's fucking yeah, wild to me. Ben Stiller should just replace Tom Cruise in every movie. Oh, God. They would all be better movies. Ben Stiller was the last no. Samurai. Ben Stiller and Top Gun 2 would have been better. Especially after Zoolander 2. Ben Stiller and Jack Reach. Nope. Oh, that was so bad. That was terrible. What? Zoolander 2. I was so excited for that movie same, to come out. Same. That's not on him, though. That, that is 100%. 100%. No, no. Sequels, sequels just suck, man. We've Top seen good sequels. Top Gun 2. I'm, comedy Aliens. sequels. The Dark Knight. Comedy sequels. Aliens. Yeah. Terminator 2! <laughs> Comedy sequels that came out in the 90s making a sequel now. We have seen it. Super Troopers Dodgeball 2. 2. It never Coming came out. soon. Not yet. Hopefully. Hopefully not. Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back. Like it's good. It's no, Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back is good. The Jay and Silent Bob rebate, not good. Yeah. But back on topic, Interview with the Vampire. I have not finished it yet. I probably will. It is not for fans of the original material. If you were coming in blind, it's... It's good. It's pretty good. But I have, I have a question directly for you and only for you. Yeah. Let's Would you rather finish this nope, series? Nope, nope, nope. Than Rings of Power. <laughs> oh, than Rings of Power? Yes. <laughs> I no longer care if these guys watch it. Hmm. I might finish Rings of Power. Over, the, over. over this. All right. Uh, All right. Just because... Yeah, if you're a fan of the source material, it's all fucked. The the names are the only thing that are there. And that the actor that plays Lestat, not doing a good job. The actor that played Lestat in the first one wasn't it? Tom, Tom job Cruise job should have reprised his role. <laughs> should have gotten Ben Stiller. But <laughs> if I finish it, maybe it'll change my view, but I doubt it. It's not as good as uh, Wheel of Time. No, I can nothing can top Wheel of Time. That was just so spot on accurate. <laughs> The uh, wheel of time keeps us spinning. <laughs> That's about all it does. If you want to hear my rant, <laughs> let's hear it. Go back. No, to... you go back to one of the other episodes. Oh, we yeah. don't have time yeah, for that shit true. right now. My review is the most spot-on review of Wheel of Time. It was fantastic. I can't wait for season two. You didn't even watch it. I did. <laughs> it ended with them going, "Oh fuck, this wasn't the last battle," and "Oh fuck, we're splitting up characters that are supposed to be together." Yeah. Go oh, fuck, we don't know what's going on. We don't know There's what's no happening. source material to go off of. Yeah, there's not 14 fucking books. 15. <laughs> so better than that piece of shit Halo series. No, oh, yeah. Master <laughs> Cheeks. Yeah, that. You remember how staunchly Zach you know, defended that series? Yeah. <laughs> Even <laughs> as he was watching it, but every, every week it got a little less. I know, I was talking such shit yeah. the entire time. And by about halfway through, he's like, it's okay. <laughs> Messy. <Messy. laughs> And by the end of it, they had, sucked. At, at the beginning, they had enough threads that were interested enough to kind of overlook some of the glaring <coughs> problems. I'm just sick of bad ap adaptations that think they just need to throw out the source material. Yeah, unlike, unlike Uncharted earlier this year. <laughs> yeah, are you, are you, guys, so good. Are you guys ready for Star Wars? Or, or uh, Morbius? <laughs> Nick, more time! Got any more, Nick? Uh, I'll watch Morbius a hundred times before I ever watch Uncharted ever again. <laughs> Fair. It's good because I got it for free. <laughs> Steelbook. Uncharted. No, I did not. 
Uncharted can suck a hope. I think you just need to watch it a second no. time. You know what the... Not a shot. You, you had the wrong mindset when you saw it. Not only was that a terrible ad adaptation, when they were announcing the still book, they included the necklace with it, like a crappy replica of the necklace he wore in there, and jacked the price from $30 for the normal steel book to 60 Gee, for the shitty necklace? Yes. Aragon <laughs> is one of the worst. <laughs> so good. Uh, I, I would watch Aragon a thousand times again before Every, I That at least had a good actor in it. I, I, I will Doing say that if, if you can just, if you've read the books, if you can just lobotomize yourself, it's Yeah, again, game. half of these shows are probably good if you know nothing about look, the source material. Look, I'll, I'll take it one step further. I would watch the series of Uncharted <coughs> Events a million times before I watch Uncharted a second time. I never thought I'd say these words because I love Spider-Man. Fuck you, Tom Holland. <laughs> Fuck you for ruining one of my favorite video game franchises. You're spoiling my next movie, movie, bookie, bookie. <laughs> He's like, I'm gonna I've all seen it. it. I'm going to opt out Doesn't of this matter. one. I'm opting out of this one. Shit, I didn't opt out of cats. Yeah, you're not allowed to opt out. So is there anything else you've been watching, or is that it? <laughs> That's it this week. I, like I said, I banished a lot of Halloween movies up through Halloween weekend. That's fair. I, so, uh, one oh, I watched... Oh, fuck! Oh, oh fuck. Go for it. Uh, one I watched, it's, it's called Hell of a Boss. I don't know if anyone's seen that. Ever heard of it? It's on YouTube. I say that, but it's actually very well. Like, the quality's pretty high. First season's done. Uh, second episode just came out, like, earlier this week or so. I can't remember. It's pretty good, honestly. Uh, I recommend it. It's free on YouTube. What is it? It's it, it's, it's a mystery. It's about it's about a demon company that kills people on Earth. Sounds like a good business. Like model. like as assassins, but they're all but they're all demons, and they're also kind of like they're good, but like, at their job, but they're also fucking idiots. I'll I'll show some clips later. There's, I've never been so fully withdrawn from that episode <laughs> than after talking about Uncharted. It, like, fully took me out of the mood to even fucking record anymore. I, ah, uh, god damn it. Nick, it's Keep such going, a good movie. I'm so sorry. Nick, take that feeling <coughs> and put it in your hands, and that's how I feel every time you go on a segue. Zach, you should enjoy the segues. Uh, how about how terrible my opinion is? Zach, just ride the uh, segways. But but it's a lot of fun. It's a, it's pretty raunchy. Uh, but it is pretty. It's it's a lot. It's right. funny as hell. Gavin yeah, uh, doesn't like raunchy stuff. No, I don't mind raunchy stuff. That's so what, what's their enough. business model look like? How are they making money as a corporation by killing humanity? Uh, so like so so like the first episode Think about how is much money somebody paid. To, like hire somebody to kill like Jeff Bezos. <laughs> Whatever he works at this company. Oh, this is the Amazon fucking company. <laughs> so like the first episode shows a school teacher, uh, like saying about how great her day is, and then she uh, dead goes to call her uh, her husband because uh, to tell her tell him happy birthday, and like and it shows her husband. Fu well, it doesn't show it, but she sees her husband fucking another bitch, so she goes back and kills her. Tries to kill her and him, and then kills him. Her. It sounds really dark uh, when it's just laid out. Sounds like, <laughs> when it's laid out like this, uh, and then laid out like her husband and the other girl. And then, and yeah. then, when, and then uh, but the other girl she managed to survive. Uh, and then when she went to hell, she was pissed off. Uh, not the girl that survived, but the school teacher. She was pissed off, so she like she paid them to go go back and kill her. But the family, but her and her entire family is like entirely fucking insane and like are serial killers and shit. And it, it's goofy as fuck. It's very funny. The action scenes sounds funny. <laughs> it's this is just the first episode, and it, it's I'll, I'll show you a clip after we record because. Uh, but yeah, it's just basically they're low level demons, imps. They're imps, and they just go to Earth and they just bumble fuck around. Bumblefuck. <laughs> Until they do what they're doing. Fuzzled. Do they eat Popeye's chicken? Uh, no. Then they're not real demons. <laughs> Use your imagination. That was my worst little Mickey impersonation ever. Yeah, you're usually much. You got anything else? <laughs> uh, and then I also watched Rick and Morty. <laughs> uh, uh, the new season, I caught up to it. Uh, there's still two more episodes, I believe. 
the season's really fucking good so far. I remember okay. talk. I talked about it last night and talking about it on here, obviously. Uh, but Rick doesn't have his portal gun for a lot of it, so it's been more like spoilers. Oh, yes. Yeah. Uh, but it's been mostly just more like family based, uh, kind of like the first season, but without so much fighting. And our second season, without so much fighting, everything like that. And Jerry gets an episode. Gets a couple. Jerry's really fucking funny in this season. I don't know how they managed to do it. I don't want to talk about spoilers, but I don't know if you guys are actually ever going to watch it besides Zach. I, I will so, definitely be watching okay. it. Okay, okay. No spoilers. I'm just waiting for all the episodes to come out. All right, no spoilers. Jerry, there's a Jerry-focused episode that's really fucking funny. Fuck you, Summer. <laughs> Fuck you, Summer. There, you can't see. You and your grandma. Uh, there's, a die, there's a Die Hard episode that's really fucking funny. They're all pretty funny, but the one I laugh the hardest on is the Jerry focused one. Uh, there's also this is slight spoilers. There's also an episode about dinosaurs. So you fucking son silly. of a bitch. So fucking silly. it's it's Rick and Morty. It's it's different, uh, but I think it's probably one of the better seasons they've had in a while. Yeah. And I and like they have good shit. <coughs> yeah, I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> Been enjoying it. It's just. Uh, I'm trying not to spoil anything, but it's good. You should watch it if you want. If you watch it, watch it. If you want, if you want. Um, last Saturday we had a Halloween party. Um, oh yeah. And I put on yeah. Terrifier. Um, so some people were not able to watch the whole movie because we were partying. Um, <laughs> I did end up sitting down and watching the entire movie. I thought it was fucking cool. Uh, like it, it's a bad movie, yeah. and yet it's entertaining. Art the Clown's cool. Art the Clown is hilarious. Yeah, I love him. Um, so I'm looking forward to that scene in the diner of him smiling to girls had me <laughs> fucking roll. Yeah. Uh, it's a it's a cool take on you know the horror movie genre that we've seen a hundred times over, and I'm so excited to go see the second one. I'm hoping to do that this weekend before yeah. it leaves theaters. Yeah, I feel like I watched about ninety five percent of the same. Um, yeah, I thought it was super good. Yeah. After yeah, all those I clips on the table, take yeah. talk about the second one. Alright. So I have watched two movies and I've started um, Big Mouse Season 6, I think it is. And I've been oh, watching. Yeah, come out, yeah. uh, I'm, me and Steph have gone through the first three episodes and it's the same old, same old. Mm-hmm. I'm like, I still like the show more than Human Resources. Um, yeah, I fucking hate Big Mouse. I don't hate Big Mouse. <laughs> it's too raunchy. It's too raunchy. I didn't raunchy. say that either. <laughs> um. Same thing as the last few um, seasons. It's, if you like those, you're gonna like this season so far. Um, I did start watching the Cabinet of Curiosities, and I agree, it's a pretty well done show. Uh, my favorite episode, like I think I said earlier, is yeah, the rat one. Yeah, that one was cool. That oh, one's funny good. because we we went camping earlier this year as a group, and Gavin ended up buying like a yeah. sh- a horror short story book at the yeah. lodge, and one of the stories we read was about. Rats stealing bodies from graves. And it was that fucking And that story. is the story that they are telling in this short. No shit. Yeah. 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 Well, it was really cool. There's a few different details, yeah. but right. it is. It is that yeah, they're story. all adapted. From yeah. Existing stories. And yeah, it was it? It's super cool. The take on it is super cool. I like the characters in that episode a lot. I I, I don't know if I'm a fan of the Rupert Grit one though. I like the Rupert Grit one. I thought it was cool. Uh, but yeah, like I said, I think my favorite one might be the one where there's. The dude buys the storage room, mm. and he's going through the storage room. I think that one's super cool. Uh, what is this on? Uh, it's on Netflix. Cool. The other two things I watched were also on Netflix. The first one being The Strangers, directed by Thomas M. Wright. Um, this stars Joel Egerton, Sean Harris. Um, this is a movie about uh, this Canadian, or not Canadian, jeez, Australian <laughs> law department trying to catch... A kidnapper from 10 years ago um, this is almost a cold case um, where this kid disappears they can't find his body um, the length of lengths they went to to catch this guy is kind of incredible um, where they literally like start a fake mob and get this guy to join it and then after a series of different events and stuff get him to admit and tell them how he kidnapped, killed, and hid this guy, the kid's body and where he did it. 
Um, that all sounds very exciting, but the way this movie plays out is it's beautifully shot, but like really kind of dull and slow. Um, while watching it, I got so confused at the end because at first I thought Joel's character was the only one in on the um, on the cover job, and I didn't realize the whole company was. But, um, so that was that one, The Stranger. And then the other movie I watched was a uh, a remake of All Quiet on the Western Front, directed by Edward Beggar. This is a story about. Is he a beggar? <laughs> This is a story about German um, kids being excited about joining the army and fighting. Canada. No, it's not. Uh, wanting to fight in World War One to get glory and basically bitches. Oh, World War One? No, yeah, glory and bitches. I was like, so Jojo Rabbit, and then I just said World War One. So never mind. Um, it it is like that, but a very serious take on it. Like right off the bat, they get like the shell shock of war and how it's not glory and riches and stuff like that and um, it's very bloody, gritty down to earth and um, this is another kind of slow moving movie but like it's got a lot of emotion packed in there and you kind of start feeling for this group of kids and their trials and tribulations um, yeah that one's also on Netflix I think that's all I've watched this week Hell yeah. <coughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Well, what are we going to be watching this week? This upcoming Thursday, we're all going to see Black Panther, Wakanda Forever. At some point, I know Nick said it earlier, we want to go see Terrifier 2. Yeah. Um, be good. That would be really good. Even though the Halloween season is over. It's still worth seeing. Oh, right hell now. yeah. Um, speaking of seasons, Christmas is coming up, but my first... And favorite holiday is right before that. It's Thanksgiving, mm. Halloween. It's That's Christmas. behind us. Halloween, now. It's Christmas. Christmas time. It's Christmas it's fine. time. It's fine. Have you seen the That's decorations? Fine. There is no decorations, and you're about to put some up on the green screen. <laughs> you're goddamn right, everywhere. <laughs> there's not green screens everywhere. There's, there's just like I don't need them. There's just like that that like over filter that's just there's yeah. just snow constantly. Ooh, yeah. Terrible. This, the whole episode. this is now a Christmas episode. There is Thanksgiving coming up in a few weeks. There is? I wanna know what you would consider a move like a Thanksgiving themed movie. Like when you think Thanksgiving there's feasts, there's family, there's football. Planes, there's trains, and automobiles. That's the one that comes to mind usually first. Um, there's usually getting ready for the holidays. I do have a list from... And that, family values. Oprah? No. Opal Daily? <laughs> Oprah. Yeah, I, Oprah. I, I watched some Oprah every Thanksgiving. <laughs> yeah, I was actually born there. Oh my God, Oprah! Oprah. Uh, of 44 movies, and we can kind of like debate them. Cause there's, there's a lot on here that I was just like quickly looking through and like... That's not a fuck Thanksgiving movie. What are you talking about? Uh, yeah, it's OprahDaily.com. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I just so, got yeah. this off Ad of Facebook. Adam's Family Values and Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. There we go. That's all you need. So, yeah. I do agree with both of those. Are we literally oh, going to Charlie Brown Thanksgiving? Are you literally going to say a movie and we're going to say if it's awful or good? I'm going to go through a few of them. Okay. Um, obviously, a Charlie Brown Thanksgiving. Great. Duh. Yeah. One of the best Charlie Browns. Not as good um, as Christmas. Hands down, planes, trains, and automobiles. Yeah. I need yeah. to get a new copy of that That's one. That's a great movie. And then we have Eddie Murphy's Tower Heist. I don't think I've That's seen that one. That's not Thanksgiving. Oh, got, no, that does have a Thanksgiving dinner in it. That's got a Ben Siller. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> you mean Tom Cruise. Oh, yeah. Tom Cruise. <laughs> That's the name of it. Three Birds. That's the name of that fucking animated movie. I think that one is on here somewhere. It should be. It's uh, a movie. Knives Out. I think all that classifies as a thing. Yeah, that's not a Thanksgiving. I, I won't want to argue against it. It's, it's a good movie. movie. It's, it's, it's not movie. a Thanksgiving. Oh, here, here we go. The Blind Side, according to this, because they have one scene. Also, Black Friday, which makes more sense. Why are you taking over Zach's segment here? Just fuck him. <laughs> Damn. Oh, <Yeah. No. laughs> uh, we got that would Garfield. Be a good Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. <laughs> uh, anything old Garfield can suck it. Uh, Garfield. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. The Little Mary Garfield. 
According to this um, list, Little Women. Son in law, that's a Thanksgiving movie. Polly Shore. Polly Shore kicks ass. Yeah, he does. Returns home for things. Yep. Yeah. Oh, shit. There's Freebirds, 12 out of 44. Remember the Titans? Yeah. Silver Lion Playbook. Yeah, they do have a Thanksgiving oh, movie. Miracle what? on 34th Street. Thanksgiving. Holy shit. I guess it starts around Thanksgiving. Does it? Yeah. Okay. I hated that movie, so I don't yeah. watch it. Teacher says every time a bell rings, an angel gets his wings. So overrated. <laughs> Beethoven. The a dog? Second? Yeah. Hell yeah. Fuck yeah. All Beethoven right. kicks ass. I I'm taking over again just for this, just because I saw it and Go just because I don't know. <laughs> it's, a, it's called The Thanks Killing Three, and it looks awful, and it sounds awful. <sighs> look, all I see is look. I'm looking. I'm looking at this foot, the cover, and it's a turkey with a chainsaw. Oh, Santa? Weird. Do you have sound effects on your phone? Yeah. <laughs> it worked. All right, back to you. Uh, this list also has "You've Got Mail," starring Tom Hanks and Mae Ryan. Yeah, that's awful. Scent of a Woman. Spider Man's on this list. Oh, I like that list now. <laughs> Adam's Family Values, we talked about that <coughs> earlier, that yeah. does qualify. Great movie. I'll take it, it's a good movie. Grumpy Old Man. Great movie. Great movie. I haven't seen that one in so long. Me neither. Rocky. Or a picture show? No, just Rocky. Adrian! Adrian! Jeez, I, there's a lot of movies on here I have not heard of. Yeah, and most of them aren't Thanksgiving. Son in law kicks ass. I literally, I literally just like scrolled that yeah. one. Son in law in here. The Family Stone. Just top 10 Polly Shore movies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is a holiday that needs more um, Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving movies. movies. One that I really liked on this list was Instant Family. Um, Basically, Mark Wahlberg and his character's wife in this movie, they're having trouble conceiving, so they um, join a group that uh, does foster care, and um, they end up getting a call that they have three kids come into their house like overnight, and um, it's kind of like a touching story about them kind of like coming together as a family and like learning to like enjoy each other's company and like be a family. I thought it was a really good movie. Um, funny people's on here. Terrible <laughs> movie. <coughs> yeah, because it has Adam Sandler in it. Yeah. Yeah. We all know he can't make a good movie anymore. Oh, Pocahontas. That's a Thanksgiving movie. Sure. It's on this list. I mean, she look, I found the Native Americans. I, I found the Th Thanks Killing trilogy, and I think that's going to be. <laughs> there was one. Of, oh, no. So like I was saying earlier, like when I think Thanksgiving, I'm thinking like getting home for the holidays, like feasting, um, family. I want, I almost want to like argue the fact that like due date could technically fit in that category. All right, argue it. Well, he's going home. You got, you got Zach Galifianakis doing his normal thing. I'm just, I'm just gonna say it's yeah. Die Hard's a Thanksgiving movie. It's a Christmas movie. It's both. It takes place during Christmas. Yeah, but that's after Thanksgiving. <laughs> Alright, it's a Fourth of July movie, too. <laughs> You're goddamn <laughs> right. Give me a fucking automobile, a fucking Thanksgiving movie. Give me a fucking Thanksgiving movie. Give me a fucking Thanksgiving Four fucking wheels and a seat. I really don't care for the Four fucking wheels and a seat. I love it. Um, due date is, is is nowadays Turkey version of Flame Chains and Automobiles. You remember yes. that, Nick? No. You told me to Jim download Henson. this a year yeah. ago. And I did, and we never watched it. Yeah, we gotta watch that. Jim Henson case. That's a Thanksgiving movie. What is that? Turkey, Turkey Hollow. That is frightening. Yeah, Nick had me get that a year ago, and we forgot about it. It's like they're turkeys with human faces, but they're all mapped out. Definitely met. Um, if you're looking for great Thanksgiving content, every season of Brooklyn Nine Nine has a wonderful Thanksgiving episode. Mm -hmm. Friends usually does too. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, it does. Good of you to know. But we said movies, not episodes. Well, 
<laughs> that there's, there's a, a lot lack, of Thanksgiving there's a, episodes. There's a lack of good Thanksgiving movies. Unlike Christmas, which has a plethora of Christmas well, I mean, movies. It's the best holiday of the year. And then there's Halloween. No, it goes Thanksgiving, my birthday, Halloween, Christmas. And there's more Fourth of July movies. Than Thanksgiving you're also movies. you're drop you're missing too many holidays. It goes Kwanzaa. legitimately uh, Christmas, Halloween, Fourth of July, Memorial Day, Labor Day. Oh, Martin Luther King's birthday's right after uh, Halloween. Yeah. Um, then Thanksgiving's down there. Like, uh, uh, <laughs> does it make the list? Thanksgiving, my birthday. Halloween, National Cheeseburger Day, National Pizza Day, National Shh. Beer Day, National Stout Beer Day, National Light Beer Day, <laughs> National Lager Day, right. National Best Friends Day, National Alexis Brother Day. <laughs> of course, Zach knows all the beer days. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, yesterday was National Stout Day. Damn it, we missed it. We missed it. <laughs> all I had was a sour. Um... <clears throat> no, I agree. I do think there needs to be more Thanksgiving movies. It's yeah. one of the we started with Halloween and we there's so many good Halloween movies to watch. It'd be it would be nice if there were more Thanksgiving movies to watch and you could like make a month out of it. Yeah, because I, I don't have an annual movie that No, I, I usually I usually will just end up starting Christmas, Christmas movies, movies about yeah, halfway I'm, through November. Same. And, and a lot of Christmas movies do have like a period of time where like they're getting ready for the holiday yeah. and yeah. this place or it starts on Thanksgiving yeah. or something like that. Which I get. They're they're really close together. And one's superior. And one other. is superior. <laughs> Thank you for admitting that Thanksgiving is superior. Just like Scorpion beats Johnny Cage. Well, that's... And if you're wondering why that comes up, watch our top ten list from this week. Coming out later this week. Someday. Or before this episode. No. No. This that's right. You have a schedule that's yeah. coming out today. Yeah. Getting off of Thanksgiving, though, there is another movie we should watch this week coming out. Huh. The uh, new Aqua Teen Hunger Force movie comes out oh, this yeah. week. Before God, I forget probably. about it again. Uh, so we should watch that next yeah, week. 100%. Hopefully Is it live action? Is t in it? I don't know. <laughs> well, actually, we, we watched the trailer. They did have a trailer I've not watched yet. That's a good trailer. That's good trailer. Hey, it's Aqua Teen. <laughs> yeah, yeah those classic guys. meat one. He's not in this one. <laughs> Yeah, he, he got eaten <laughs> in the last one. I like that uh, John H. Benjamin plays Frylock <laughs> in the live action version. Well, I don't have anything else. You guys have anything else you want to add? I think he played Shake. I thought, T, I thought T Pain was, oh, maybe. Maybe I was Frylock. And, and H. John ben Benjamin played. No, H. John Benjamin played. Uh, uh, meat wad. Meat. No live action. We'll play it, Aaron. Right. We can, we'll, we'll put it up on the green screen. None of us have seen this the first time. I miss being part of a tool. Y'all remember Aqua Tool? Frylock is dead to me. I'll never speak with him again. You sure you're up for this, Phoenix? <laughs> I've lived on an for 15 years, man. This thing... Aquatine? We're in this for life. No one just walks away. We're back. You're welcome. Here at Amazing, we're all one big happy family. So let's roll up our sleeves and get down to business, or you're dead. We got help! Form of a hot dog! Form of a nipple! Form into a frickin' weed whacker! I look crazy, man. The crazier you look, the smarter Wall Street thinks you are. The f do you want? Put on your foot cancer. I got me foot cancer. You ain't got no feet. Not anymore. Again, they fall, again, they crawl, again, we fall. It's time to nip some plants in the bud. Oh, I hate doing yard work! Time for me to hit the hay! <laughs> Operation Master Shake and Bait. Just been over and pick it up. Aqua Teen Forever Plantasm. Own it November 8th on digital 4K and Blu ray. Oh, this should be good. Someone make right, popcorn. So we'll have Two movies this week to watch. Three, hopefully, with Terrifier 2. Terrifier yeah. 2, yeah. 
So hopefully we'll have three new movies to talk about. Which is really before. wrapping up the year. There's not much else coming and out this year. Avatar 2. The Way of Water. It's going to be else. number one of all time. What if it was? I would laugh at you guys for weeks. <laughs> yeah, I would too. We deserve it. I, I would I would get you guys tattoos of Avatar 2. Just chest tattoos. As a... Uh, well, there's that Puss in Boots movie coming out in December. As a hipster, it doesn't matter how good it is. I'm going to say it sucks. <laughs> Way to be a Rick. <laughs> well, as we said at the top of the episode... Please like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell mm-hmm. notification, bell button to stay up to date on all the notifications. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh my god. I'm English, tired. please. Tune in next week if you want to hear our reviews on Black Panther, Terrifier 2, Aqua Teen Hunger Force. Hear more big movie news. Hopefully, there's going to be something big that happens this week. If I can get through it. If Zach can get through recording other episodes with the three of us. <laughs> That's what he's got. That's a long shot. shot. <laughs> I might start taking meth. <laughs> Zach's going to have to start drinking through these episodes. <laughs> <laughs> going to get wasted. Every time we segue, you have to take a shot. Ooh, yeah, let's make a drinking game out of it. That'll be I good might content. as well just start chugging the bottle. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. I'm just going to get a very small bottle. <laughs> Zach, you want to get us out of here? Yeah, sure. All right. Let's go. Let's go. go. Oh. <laughs> well, guys, I think it's time to split. split.